Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at Arrival, directed by Denis Villeneuve and starring Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner. So one fine day, while the people of Earth are just minding their own business, suddenly 12 alien spacecraft come down to Earth and land in seemingly random places on the planet. One of those places happens to be in rural Montana, so the U.S. military calls on Dr. Banks, played by Amy Adams, an expert linguist, as they're hoping she will be able to help decipher the alien's language. Over time, she gradually learns more about the aliens and how they communicate and what their purpose on this planet is, and why she keeps getting these strange and bizarre visions in her head. So if you saw my shut-in vlog, you may recall I briefly mentioned this at the end as a movie you should see instead of shut-in. And unlike shut-in, I actually paid money to see this one, and I do not regret that at all because this was really good. This is a very interesting sci-fi drama. It's shot very well. I like the design of the aliens and especially the way they communicate through written language. Thought it was very well acted. I really liked Amy Adams in this. I enjoyed watching her interact with these alien beings and the way she slowly figures out their written language. She plays a very strong, intelligent, and determined character who also has a very heavy heart, as we learn in several flashback scenes, as she had a marriage that apparently did not end well, and a child that she lost at a young age due to cancer. And this is a source of not just sadness, but also confusion, for reasons that I won't go into, because spoilers. Jeremy Renner plays the other expert that they bring in to try to understand the aliens. Adams is the linguist, and he's the scientist. And I thought he did a pretty good job. I thought he and Adams worked well together. And naturally, they have to deal with some angry government and military types, and they are played by Forrest Whitaker, who's an army colonel, and Michael Stuhlberg, who is an FBI agent. And they're both constantly hounding Adams and Renner. What do we know? What don't we know? Why don't we know it yet? Can't you do this any faster? Why haven't we figured out what they're trying to tell us? What are they trying to tell us? Are they going to attack us? Should we attack them? Would it be wrong to attack them? Why would it be wrong to attack them? And you've seen these types of characters before, I'm sure. They're probably the closest thing this movie has to villains, although they're not exactly villainous. They're not acting like assholes just for the sake of being assholes, just to give the audience someone to root against, which is actually quite refreshing. There are actual valid reasons for them acting the way they do and asking the questions they ask. And when Adams and Renner calmly explain their position to these government types and why we shouldn't rush into these things and what we really should be doing, and here's the science and data to back it up, and let's not push the big red button just yet, they actually listen. Imagine that. They're not bad guys at all. They're just anxious and nervous and afraid and have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on. And that's probably the real villain of this movie, the fear of the unknown. And Adam's character is trying to push beyond that fear and work toward understanding the aliens and working together with them. An idea that just might have some value in the world we live in today. Maybe. Just a bit. And without giving too much away, it also has a very interesting look at fate and how we live our lives, and if you had some idea ahead of time of how your life was going to play out, would you want to do anything differently? Or would you just accept the hand you're dealt and try to make the best of it? And that is as much as I dare say because I really don't want to ruin it for anyone that hasn't seen this movie yet. And you should. This is excellent, it's well acted, well made, it has a great story, and I highly recommend checking it out. And that's all I got to say about Arrival, so until next time, take care.